Chances are you have taken a sightseeing helicopter tour, or at least thought about it, not only in the Smokies, but of course a lot of tourist destinations are offering them as well. So how safe are they? We talked to an aviation lawyer who has represented a number of victims and victims' families in dozens of aviation lawsuits involving sightseeing helicopters. One in 10 vacationers to Hawaii take air tours to get a bird's eye view of what Mother Nature created on these majestic islands. While most come back safely, some don't. There have been a number of high profile crashes involving sightseeing helicopters. Aviation attorney Ronald Goldman has represented survivors and family of victims in these crashes. There is a greater risk than, than I like. Some crashes, he says, were weather related. Others were mechanical problems or piloting errors. But he also found one other troubling factor. We have found that in an effort to give the passengers a more exciting ride, risks were taken that probably shouldn't have been, and they get themselves into problems with uh, tricky winds or other issues that uh, they can't recover from. The chopper that crashed in Pigeon Forge was a Bell 206. While Goldman says the 206 can be reasonably safe, he also says there have been issues with that model. I've got behind me a Bell 206B, which is very much like that helicopter, which uh, we built that model for one of our cases. And they've been, they've been flying for quite a while. We have in the past found issues with the design and uh, sometimes with maintenance. The helicopter carrying five tourists came down fast, exploding in a ball of flames. Pigeon Forge Police Chief Jack Baldwin's words were chilling. There was no, no life when we got here. Attorney Ronald Goldman says the integrity of the helicopter's gas tanks are a big concern. We concern ourselves with uh, not only why did the helicopter crash, but why did the people have to die? And especially why did they have to suffer the horror of uh, being burned alive? Now, after representing 30 helicopter crashes over the years, Ronald Goldman will not go as far to say never board one of these tour helicopters, but he has told his staff not to take a helicopter tour because he says there is a greater risk than he would like.